define true love. Oh, that's a good one. How to define true love. Ah. That wants nothing for itself. That is totally and completely free. Most people have no idea of what true love is because they always want something. They associate love with their emotional and personal needs. Which is very understandable because probably not many of us were totally loved as children. We were caught in patterns of codependency in our parents' dynamics. But, well, the Sufis have a say, saying that once you have take just one sip of the wine of love, you are lost forever because it is completely different than anything you can expect. I remember for myself the, the first time I experienced that. I was sitting in meditation, I was 25, and it was as if a butterfly touched, a butterfly's wings touched the edge of my heart. And in that moment I was given everything I ever wanted. I was loved completely. Every cell of the body was loved. My heart was singing with love. It was, I couldn't believe there was anything more one could ever be given. It was complete, it was total, it was pure. That's why the Sufis call God the Beloved, because for Sufis the relationship with God is of lover and beloved. And we are loved so much. Actually, what is very interesting is every cell of creation is loved. You can have mystical experiences in which you see that. It is loved completely because the whole fabric of life, the whole fabric of creation is love. Love is this beautiful substance that comes from the inner planes. It is part of the... It is part of God, I suppose, for most people, but everything is God. But this love comes into life and everything is nourished by love. It is otherwise... They say it's love that makes the world go round. It is actually true. If that note of love was missing, the, the world would fall apart. It's actually... And part of a spiritual journey is to go to experience this pure love. I always say it is like the difference between what most people call love and this love is like the difference of a glass of beer to 100% proof alcohol. This love, true love, pure love, is incredibly intoxicating. It destroys your mind because in that dimension of love, all your notions of yourself and your world are dissolved because it is just completely different. It is absolute and it is there. What amazes me, it is, it is present in everything in life because everything in life is made of love and we don't have direct access to it. It's one of the I don't like to say jokes because it might be it's rather a painful joke, but it is one of the, the Sufis call it the veils of the beloved, the way he hides himself from us in, in his creation. And part of the, the journey of the mystic is to uncover those veils and to find what is real. And when you find what is real and your heart starts to sing, you become a drunkard. The Sufis talk about the Tavern of Ruin because you are just drunk in love. You are a mystic, you are drunk and in love and you don't care anything for anything anymore because you have been given everything you want.